morning students how are you today and i hope you had a very good weekend okay it's another week and we have math today so get all your books ready your pencils your writing materials and your notebooks in case you have to put anything down the students page is from student book is from page 210 to 215 and the workbook 198 to 207 we're looking at lesson 12 we're done with lesson 11 we looked so much at uh, lesson 11 in the last two weeks we studied measures and if you remember we looked at length we looked at mass and we looked at volume so we're moving on to another topic today and the topic is handling data handling data so let's do a little bit of warm-up activity from our previous lesson we remember that we have length volume and mass as our units of measurement but for each one of them they have also units of measurement so I want you to write in 30 seconds the units of measurements for length, the units of measurements for volume, and the units of measurements for mass. So you have 30 seconds and the time starts now. It's about 20 seconds more. In 10 seconds more, okay, now the time is over. What is your answer? What are the units of measurement for length? And what are the units of measurement for volume? And the units of measurements also for mass. Let's see if you have the right answers. So, the unit of measurement for length, we have millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Remember, M, C, M, K for length. What about volume? Milliliters and liters. And finally, mass has kilograms and grams remember that only length has four units volume and mass have just two units each okay let's get to the lesson of today what's our lesson objective we're looking at data handling so we want to see how to read graphs and interpret graphs you may be wondering it's data handling why are we talking about graphs? To handle data or data means to be able to to be able to organize information about a particular thing and at a particular time. So how do we represent this information in such a way that when you have a quick view, you can tell what the information says? We can represent the information using graphs. But how do we interpret the graphs? Then, our second lesson objective is to be able to answer questions using the information from a graph. So let's get to the lesson. What is the graph about? Now, we have something, we have a picture right here that displays some a line, a star, and writes something on the vertical side and then on the horizontal side as well. Remember, the vertical side is the side that runs from the top to the bottom and the horizontal side runs from the left to the right. Okay, so here in this sample graph we have here, the horizontal side has got new employee, one year, two year, three year and then also it has performance score 
Now, what is the graph all about? The first thing we should look at is, what does the graph describe? And then another thing which I have explained earlier, what is in the axis? That's the vertical side and the horizontal side. And then what does the graph pattern say? If you look at this graph pattern, you will notice that the line keeps going upward. So the pattern of this graph is it's progressing. It means this graph uh, moves from the bottom and is progressing towards the top as the year increases. And uh, it's probably talking about the performance score of some staff of a company. Okay, so that is what the graph describes. We've talked also about the vertical and horizontal lines. Now let's get to the lesson. For this lesson, we will be using our student book to make the lesson more explanatory and also some questions from our workbook. The lesson is not over yet, students. Please click on the part two link to continue the lesson. Thank you.